Uh, we've got the weekly chart. We'll have a look at the, the price action there because clearly we've seen quite a big sell-off in the last 12 hours. Absolutely, um, you know, huge move last night. Um, I, I, if we start with the, uh, you know, the reasons behind it, it's you know, obviously there's still supply disruptions. There's still the war uh, in Ukraine going on, which is uh, obviously causing a lot of angst in the energy space. But uh, the theme right now seems to be global slowdown, um, fear of recession, and um, the belief that there'll be demand destruction because because of that. And there's some pretty big calls out there how far crude could go down. I, I'm not one of those willing to make a huge call on this, but certainly the technicals are telling us that it, it looks like it may have topped out a little bit, and um, you know we could we could go lower. So if we start with the weekly, uh, which you, I think is what you put up now, mm. um, we can put we can sort of uh, look at one of the objectives. It's um, the 38.2 Fibonacci retracement of the entire entire pandemic move from 1598. Would you believe? Seems like a, such a long time ago, all the way up to 139.13. That comes in at 92. 09 and that would be the first objective if the tuna day moving average broke um, if you go back if we go back to the daily chart um, which is the one that precedes this um, let me see yeah uh, yeah there, there we go see there you can see quite clearly what an important break that yesterday was it was the first time it closed below the 100 day moving average uh, this year, we've we've dabbled below there a couple of times, but we didn't close below there. Well, we certainly closed there up below there in a big way yesterday, and that was after making a bearish outside day reversal, where we went higher than the previous day's highs, then crashed through the previous day's low. And you can see the next major level is the 200-day moving average. Now it's been above the 200-day moving average for this whole run higher, all the way from 15 something. And that comes in at 96.27. So that's going to be a very important level to watch. Um, the 200 day moving average is ascending, so it'll move up slightly every day. But if it breaks that reading of the 200 day moving average, then we can see a bigger move down towards that Fibonacci level that I, that I mentioned.